Hi everybody, welcome back as I adjust this crap over again. Ugh. Whoa, I do this every time and I apologize for it every time. <laughs> but yeah, hi, welcome. Excuse the crazy adjusting. Whatever, we're going for it. Um, I shall wait for... Hi, Stephanie. Thanks for coming, joining me. Okay. I wasn't sure. Hi, Susan Ray. How you doing? Thanks for joining me. Hope everybody has their tea. Um, yeah. Hello, darling. It's been so long. How are you? Oh, Akio, I've missed having you around. Sorry about the shakiness and everything. It'll get better, hopefully. Probably not. Oh, I hope everyone's Thanksgiving went really well. Ah, I'm drinking jasmine tea. It's a puree, so it's like highly caffeinated. Your girl's just been exhausted. In a good way. In a good way. So does everyone have their planners ready and their stuff? Do you have out what you need? Um, thank you, Susan. I know, Stephanie. Jasmine tea is like my favorite. Um, yeah, Susan, I'm glad that I had a chance to do this. My daughter's with her grandparents, so it's our day off. My husband and I are going to have like a little date night later. I'm going to grill steaks. Um, but it's so overcast here. It's like night. It looks like night, but it's afternoon like early afternoon it's not even a late afternoon it's only 2 47 um but it's like so dark outside um so i thought i'd come on and kind of talk to you guys about um you know i'm still setting up for december because with thanksgiving i was cooking i love cooking it's one of my favorite things to do um i like to drink wine and cook it's just just my kind of life you know um but i still need to set up an a5 planner on live I'm gonna do that live as well and I don't know if I'm gonna do it today or tomorrow um, but I wanted to finish my tracking um, I wanted to finish my tracking oh, sorry I just got a message hi honey Francis has been so long how are you um, so let's talk about that before I do Look, I have notes and everything, so, like, hopefully this won't be as, like, scattered brain, but hello. I'm naturally scattered brain. <laughs> um, you guys, I got my first order that I did myself <laughs> from Planner Kate, and I want to talk to you about this because, um, hold on, just got off the road from Mom's. It was one of our best Thanksgivings ever. Oh, that's awesome, you guys. I'm so happy. Francis, you didn't even tell me you were in town. How dare you? Um, what was it? Okay, so I've been using my stash of stickers, you guys, um, to figure out what I truly liked and only buy what I know I'll use. And I kept coming back to, um, Planner Kate stickers. Oh, Francis, this is cool. I get it. I was kidding. I was probably too tired to talk to anyone. I was sleeping most of this break anyway. Um, after you eat Thanksgiving dinner, it's just like... You can forget about it. <laughs> Sleep for hours, right? Um, where was I? Yeah, so I've been using my stash. So that means I actually am down to like three small binder, not small, but like of stickers. And um, I do use those. I'm starting to journal more and things like that. So I do want to use those, but as far as functional stickers for my planner, I I've always known I love functional stickers. So I stocked up on them and I'm glad I did because I'm really learning what I like and what I use. Um, so I'm using my stash, but I couldn't resist because I was down to just this for my planner Kate stickers that I've been using on and off for like a almost two years now, I think. And um, transparent dots, don't even know where these came from. Um, but I got my order and I'll show you what I got and what I'll use, what I want to use them for. So you can kind of get an idea or if it strikes some sort of interest in 
you're planning for 2020 that maybe it's useful but she sent these awesome freebies and i actually really love these now i've decided not to buy icons as tempting as her icons are because they are so beautiful and matte but um i like hand stamping mine and i'm just going to keep doing that um but these are cute um, i wanted to go back and get some more of these but right now i'm on a no spin when it comes to planner stuff because i really outdid myself with my ostrich in this so i'm done i'm just done i have to be done um she also sent a planner kate name um sticker i cut off the e because i'm cat and that's how you spell it so <laughs> totally cute i'm gonna find a spot to stick that um, do any of y'all use Planner Kate? Um, or better yet, do any of you use um, functional stickers in your monthlies um, or in any of your pages? And if not, do you use decorative? Because I have something to show you. You may be shocked. Okay. But first, let's look at these. So I got these right I got these two types I got a lot of these because I use them all the time um and this was actually an accident but it's okay I made a lot of accidents with planner Kate but they were happy accidents um these fit in my monthlies perfectly and I carry my entire year um because I just I like having it and I, I do pre-plan a lot okay Stephanie would love to start using planner. Stephanie, let me show you some, and then you're going to fall in love even more. I'm telling you. She has a lot of really good kits, too, if you like kits. But I personally don't have to have kits. Um, but this is what it looks like when I use it. I just like how clean it looks, and I it does fall in my color code as well. So um, I really like that. See, this is how I've been doing it. And it's, I like I said, I went on and off with this because I knew I'd run out of these. and But now I just went ahead and bought some so I don't mind using them again um but that's how I used to do it and to me it looks I like it but it still looks a little sloppy I just really like how this looks so with the transparent dot set I also bought some from planner Kate I'm going to show you those I use that to track my girl time and then um I got these bigger ones for bigger events or events that take all day um, to put in here as well. So I really like the way that looks. So that's why I got um, these guys. Now, I wish I had gotten the bigger pages of this, but I, hey, I'll just, I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be okay. So, hey, cats, why do y'all always bomb my videos? You suck. Now, these were kind of an, excuse me, excuse me, children. Thank you. Okay, uh, rude. Sorry about that, you guys. Yeah, Stephanie, I think they're cute too. I mean, they're very functional and cute. Now these were kind of an accident, um, but I wanted to use these as like longer periods of time that I take off like um, holidays like this from school, but I've been using uh, washi tape. So I don't know if I will, try that out or not but i will use these in my daily and um, i'll show you how i would use those as well these arrows i use in my dailies let me show you um i don't have any in my dailies at the moment but i also like to decorate um a little bit on my tracking as well so i love i keep going back to these stickers i'm telling you that's how you know they work if you keep using them um, I can't find where I put the arrow, but I will use them in my dailies, like, let me show you, like this, if I have a, a period of, this is timed, so if I have a, like, a lesson or something that's an hour long or something, I'll use this for, like, longer periods of time, which, um, I can use these as well, so, ta-da, but aren't these cute? I love the arrows. These, I love teardrops. I like to break, categorize my um different tasks with them and put a sticker over it like this love that and i'm gonna have probably find other uses i got two and it's kind of like a pastel theme that was not intentional but i don't mind it i've kind of gotten over the pastel stuff you guys um these were the transparent dots i have these are hers okay let me show you the difference her transparent dots i actually had to question I had to take one off to try it to make sure it was transparent because this is a matte finish. 
it's like a transparent matte finish and this is like a glossy it's like plasticky and the back of this is plastic so i was like did she just accidentally print it on the wrong side no girl this i'm telling you planner kate is worth the money it's good quality okay so now that we're all caught up with my amazing sticker haul that i'm obsessed with let's go ahead and talk about what i didn't finish the last live okay so i talked to you about what i wanted to do with this i figured out what i was going to do with this i'll share that with you in this and all this i figured it out so i did take some notes i'm going to bring you in okay you guys are cool with that yeah sorry really i'm, I'm better at this than you think i swear <clears throat> leave my tea because knowing me your girl will spill it everywhere Tell me if I'm in frame or if I'm out of frame, that kind of thing. Okay, you've got to let me know. Moving my delicious tea to a place that's safe for my tea to be. Which is never nowhere with cats. You're good? Okay, they're good. All right. Thank you, Francis. My girl always got my back. Okay. E, e, okay. So this, let's start with this guy. Let's finish up this guy because he is the one that I started and didn't get finished. So this side, I think I'm done because like I said, I wanted to track um, my Instagram posts because having a section for PR is good. I like having the PR section, but keeping track of my posts are a little more difficult um, in a different section. What I mean by that, I like to just tick off boxes. <laughs> Apparently I like to tick off people too. But anyway, I just, it's just easier. So I broke it down into the different categories of types of posts that I would do. For example, a personal post on Instagram, a video announcement on Instagram, a PR post on Instagram, or a video post on YouTube or a live post on YouTube. And I'm gonna color code, I think, the two different types, the Instagram and the YouTube. Um, I'll either highlight it or use um, a dot. I could use one of my transparent dots, you guys. Let's do it. Okay. Let's use a transparent dot challenge. Um, I usually do YouTube as red for some reason, maybe because of the logo, and then blue for Instagram, maybe because of the logo. I just feel that that's kind of what I do. I think I'm going to actually highlight. I'm sweating so bad. You guys, guess, I don't know how cold or hot it is where you are, but I'm going to tell you now, it's 87 degrees where I'm... Uh, oh where I live and I am burning up. I am so hot, you guys. I decided to use little triangles instead. Yeah. I keep saying you guys, I apologize. All right, makes sense on the color code. Okay, good, thanks, I don't feel crazy. All right, so we're the little triangles, these are some that I'm trying to just use. I'm gonna show you all my sticker collection, which is not a lot. And just see what y'all think about it. And um, I really do appreciate some of y'all are really wanting to like send me stuff. And that's amazing. I'll take it. <laughs> um, and then I can pay it forward if I don't like it. That kind of thing. Um, like stickers and such. Um, I don't mind giving y'all my address. But I need to trust you a little bit. If you've been with me for a while and I know who you are, then cool. But if you're some random dude from Russia, nah. <laughs> If you were on our last live, you know what that means. Here's a little blue triangle that has a tar on the end of the tips. If you know what that's from, keep it to yourself. It's 18 degrees, feels like 12, 20 degrees with a snowstorm on the way. <laughs> Ooh, I want to be where you guys are. I love cold weather. I am made for it. My body type. I love it. I'm from the mountains. I need snow, but I live in the south. All right, so blue is YouTube. So we're just going to put put it here one here hey get off hi budgeting mama in montana in montana in montana hey just wanted a date <laughs> all right 
He just wanted a date. I know that was so funny. I was like, what? I, I was so dumb. I mean, I've, I honestly have had something like that happen before. And, um, but it was like, he was like talking about my, my, my girls, my chest. And I was like, yeah, you gotta go. But this guy was just wanting a date. And I was like, well, I'm not in Russia. So, but I thought he was like a subscriber. I was like, Hey, thanks for joining. Cause I'm wasn't, didn't understand him. You was smooth. Thank you, babe. <laughs> I was like, oh, what? Honestly, I wasn't smooth. I was just really not catching on. <laughs> Alrighty. I have a question, and this could get me fired probably. But um, who believes in natural medicine? I probably could have done without all of these little triangles, but hell, once I got started, I couldn't stop. Hi, Sylvia from Write Your Life. Oh, okay, nice. Um, budging mommy. Hola, sweetie. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Norma. How are you, sweets? Oh, y'all are so great for joining me. I really appreciate that. Okay. All right, so we got this little triangular bunting going on <laughs> for this, and this will start tomorrow. So what I've decided to do on this flap is write down the title of the YouTube video or the post if I can keep up with it. Because I think there's enough here for 31 odd something, but I do post more on Instagram, and um, I'm hoping this will be enough room. If not, oh well. We'll figure that out later. This I was going to still use for word of the year. I either will do that or I'm challenging myself this uh, month to do an Instagram post a day on like my planning life. So maybe I can track that here. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so on this side, I'm going to go ahead and fill this out in front of you guys. And then we're going to talk about what my goals and projects that I want to do for this month. All meds start with natural. Yeah, it does. The real medication all starts with natural until they started putting them into uh, um, through test tubes and such. I don't really know what I'm talking about. So I've decided over here, it's raining and muggy here. Yeah, Norma, it's rainy and hot and muggy here too. Um, these four, you know, I was kind of confused, like, what I would use this for because I do a different type. Of, I do most of my tracking here. I've decided to use this for my daughter, um, daughter's, like, daily schedule because she has, like, tennis practice or practice for the school and stuff certain days of the week. And we're going to be out of school these last two weeks, I believe. Um, so it's all going to change. So I'm thinking of using, I'm going to use this for my daughter. So I need to fill that in. Um, and I'll show you how I do that. These are for bills y'all. That's self-explanatory. So let's get started on finishing this. And then I'll talk about this sucker now, because we discussed this guy quite a bit last time and didn't, um, come to a conclusion. So let's finish up this one. And you guys sound off and tell me how your day's going and what you're working on. All right. So let's check out my calendar. All right. So this upcoming week, my daughter has a pajama day and I have lessons. My pool shuts down. Okay. So the only thing going on at my daughter's school is pajama day on Monday. And then, uh, I know the next, this week, she's got a lot going on at the school. Like, they have those cute little days. Um, tacky sweater. Y'all starting to thunder. I'm gonna have to turn on the air. I'm sweating so much. Tacky. Sweater. 
don't be afraid to write in your planners, you guys. That's what that, I mean, honestly, that's what it's there for. Let me put this here so I can get to it. Christmas. Christ dot sock day. Okay, back again. She has a hat day and she needs six books. Oh boy. Hat day. I'm using a friction pen again. I used to not, but I am now because I found how useful like i've forgotten how useful they are especially with scheduling and things like that and there's a lot of changes and then my daughter's christmas party and my daughter is out of school a week earlier than i am i'm working on narrowing down my 2020 planner lineup i have a v6 hold it my thing went out i couldn't see it i want to read i want to read what y'all say Come back. Okay, hold on. Ooh, I'm good. I'm okay. December journal ready. Cool, Norma. Sylvia, I'm working on narrowing down the 2020 planning lineup. I have a V6 Slim ND Diary notebook. I need to find something for. Norma, change it monthly. It's size and start doing that now. Nice. I love my friction pens. Yes, Stephanie, I agree. Um, I started using them when they were all the fad, and I used them for like a year religiously like those are the pins i bought and i still have quite a few so i'm using those up before i buy more but um i love a good friction pin um and i'm remembering why they actually write pretty smooth i like that um okay moving on where was i all right so i think that's the last yeah I have an in service this day, but this is for my daughter. These I decided to make this for my daughter's schedule. So that's all that's going to be there. And then I'll put in like tennis and stuff. I haven't figured out next week's yet. So let's move on to the back lap. Can you guys see or is it too like, okay. All right. Let's talk about goals and projects. Um, December will be an A7 I'm supposed to be checking. You guys are funny. Hi, sweetie. Welcome. I'm supposed to be checking and grading my kids homeschool. <laughs> well, you're here watching me, Valerie Brown. I'm sorry. I'm a bad influence. <laughs> but thanks for watching. You're the best. I'm just planning to help yourself with doing your uh, checking your work here all right let's talk about I said this three times goals and projects okay um, I've really set myself up um, a few months back to start a home project a month at least one to two and I've success successfully kept up with it surprisingly not too much planning or things like that it kind of just happened organically um I actually did accomplish my daughter's room um for uh November now I like the GTT method for product which helps with my goals yes Sylvia I agree I love a good um, I have a loose way of planning with a GTD. I kind of take bits and parts of different planning systems to create my own. But for um, some of my projects, I, I like to include a personal project, a home project, and a physical project, if that makes any sense at all. So let me explain what those three categories are for me. My home project is something I want to declutter, streamline, or build okay so I really wanted to accomplish my daughter's room and I did it you guys not only that but I streamlined my office space as well all in the month of November and I'm very proud for December I really want to focus on my bed uh, bathroom we share one bathroom 
I don't mind having a small home. It's not too small, but like I don't, I like living simply. So we share one bathroom, which I'll be honest, I wouldn't mind too nowadays, <laughs> but it's all we need, right? So I really want to upgrade it and make it beautiful. I did change out the shower head and stuff, but that's gonna be my focus for December. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down um, update bathroom. And that includes deep cleaning it. Um, there's a bunch. Hold on. Okay, so there is a bunch of steps to getting to this point. And that's where in the GTD system, you would have next action. You would put on your next action list the very next thing you need to do to get to this goal. Now, for me, I do like to write out all the steps and categories of what my bathroom needs. That will be done in either one of these, okay? I've changed things around. Now, I am going to be building an A5 um, tomorrow, today or tomorrow, and I want that to be my home planner. So it may be something that goes in there in the future, but I've always used a bound book of some sort for projects. Um, I've really loved my Midori, but I've always loved my ASIC Stayology, and so I kind of played around with this again the other night, and I just I don't, literally cute, cute stuff, journals and stuff. So I think I may um, use, just, I, we'll see. I'll keep you updated on that. Now, I've already planned out most of my bathroom um, steps, like what I need to do first, but... Um, I think project planning needs to be a separate video, okay? All right, update bathroom. One of, now for the next thing, which is personal, it can be anything spiritual, mentally, that kind of thing. Um, it could be an art project. It can be a journaling, creating something. Any, so I could say it's like a creative category too. Um, for me, it's very personal. I want it to be very close to home to my spiritual growth right now because that's something that I've been working on the most and need in my life so um, I haven't decided exactly what I would like to do but I do want to journal a page every single day so maybe I should go ahead and start that in December as well let's do it why not So this is also color coded as well. Personal for me is purple. So that's my personal category. It was purple. My home category is green because my color code for green is anything to do with the home, whether it's chores, cleaning, any of that. Kind of like how they overlap, that's cute. It's like a little, okay. And then um, also I put down here that I need to set up my 2020 goals. So that's gonna be a video on itself as well. These are projects. So my last category of project is physical. Now that has to do with my health, okay? So I'm going to be starting tomorrow a, is it in here? No, it's in, it's in another planner. I have a um, like a workout, that, a small yoga workout for each day of the month. I'm going to start that as well. So it's a slow pace, you know, eases me back into it. It's going to be, it's going to be something that I need to do for my health. Now, because it's still something very personable, I want to keep it in the same like color range as purple um so i have a dark purple and then a light purple there you go so i got my color code there and i still have a box to check it off too if i wanted so these are my um projects for the month now to add something even cuter, I could actually add a sticker that represents my projects. 
Now, if you follow me on Instagram and all that jazz, you know that I hand stamp my own stickers. So, of course, I have a symbol that represents projects for me. Let me find it. Oh, sorry. I kind of didn't show y'all what I was doing. Oh, that's cleaning. <laughs> it's going somewhere. Okay. Okay, yeah. So these glasses represent planning projects, anything like that. Now, I've also thought about the idea being a project. Um, any three of these would work. I usually use these to put a pin in to come back later, like something I need to check on later, or in heart because it's close to my heart. So I think I'm going to actually use a heart because I tend to put a heart next to things that are personal to me. And that projects are going to be close to home for me. Look how streamlined that looks because of the white background. Isn't that awesome? I love hand stamping my own stickers. I don't know if you guys are still there. I'm sorry. Am I talking too much? Oh, wait. That's my job. <laughs> okay. Moving on. So we're just going to leave these out because I'll probably need them. I do get messy when I plan. Do you guys? I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one. Okay, so let's move on from this. I'm probably going to be um, filling this in if necessary. I usually like to keep it simple, though. I don't want to overwhelm myself and force myself to do too much in a month because days go by quickly. They go by quickly. So fast. Um, also, in January, I am going to be starting a um, new... Let me show you. This. I'm going to save... I'm going to start doing this. So each month you save a certain amount and it'll equal up to 2700 by the end of the year. So if you will, I'm going to have that as a sinking fund um, to pay for me to go back to school for psychology. So more on that later. <laughs> All right. So typical week schedule routine. Now, because I have this insert as well, and it has daily routine, daily routine by time, and another weekly schedule routines area and then this and then this um i this is monthly based oh crap what did i i forgot what i was gonna do with this let me look at my old one real quick well quack i can't even talk properly there it is i have my notes on the old one um You guys, I can hear my husband snoring. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put my work routine in here. Now, I don't necessarily have to put my daughter's because I've moved hers to the side, but I may. I do like using um, my mouth liners for this. So my work typically starts really early. <laughs> In the morning 7 a.m. and I'm usually there um, I use color codes time management and my chaotic planning with Franklin Covey planners you know what I love Franklin Covey and I actually have something to show you seven habits of highly effective People, the bullet journal method and the GTD method, all in one. I'm very detailed. Or okay, me too. I I use both of those as well. Um, now I've used Franklin Covey too, and I've tied in some of that as well because actually Franklin Covey is very similar to the bullet system to me. Let me show you something. I actually kept some of my old Franklin Covey inserts. See. I, I really loved Franklin Covey. Um, I'll do it quick because I have some very... I was able to have my journaling, my tasks, my time, everything. This is a great... This was a great way for me to start planning. Um, really enjoyed that. 
Yeah, it had everything I needed in one place. Um, I really love Franklin Covey inserts because of that. And now if you look at my system, I still kind of mimic that a bit. I still have that daily times and a, like monthly, like I love it so much. But I just added a whole bunch of like confusing shit too. <laughs> All right, so this is work. Let's try and be a little fun with this. And I've got these beautiful new Planner Kate stickers. Why the hell not? Try something fun. Come here. All right. So work for me is blue because um, I think I've explained what what blue why I've chosen blue for work. Some people would question it uh, because usually green is associated with work because of money, but for me it's blue because. I um, have a water-based business, so for me it's blue, but that's just me, um, and I like it. So this is work, and I can write work in here, um, and then these days are all very different. I have more work to do Monday and Fridays normally. Um, now, because we're shutting down this month, and this is monthly base, I'm not going to put it in. So... Um, because this is a typical weekly schedule and routine. So I work most of the month. Find many on YouTube that still use it, though. Valerie, I understand that. Um, it's a shame because it's such a great, great system. And I think a lot of people may actually use a similar system to it, just not using the actual Franklin Covey inserts. Because like I mentioned a moment ago, if you actually look and break down how I plan, it's very similar. Very, very extremely similar similar to a Franklin Covey layout. I've got my timed daily, I've got my journaling, and I've got my tasks with my um, bullet system. It's the exact same thing as what I was doing in my Franklin Covey. It just looks different. Um, so that's something to think about. Franklin Covey is a great starter. Um, starter program I think for a lot of people but it's also a way of life for a lot of others um, if I had the choice like I would go back to Franklin Covey I really would I just don't like the wider pages um, that I mean I do but I like planners that are more narrow so there's that oh look I found where I used my I couldn't find this arrow for shit where I used the arrow to give an example on my one of my videos there it is found it just random I'm all over the place I apologize. okay where were we all right so work and then um so in the evenings this area here I'd pick up my daughter let's do it let me get hers is pink hers is always pink Usually a light pink. Um, Tuesday and Thursdays, I pick her up. And she usually has tennis and stuff. So I'll block out this. I'll color it in, why not? My pink is running out. <laughs> and then Monday and Thursdays, I usually have swimming, but like I said, I'm shutting down the pool next week so I'll be going straight home and usually I'll do like stuff like this I'll film for you guys or I'll do housework and I don't do housework on Fridays I do not do housework on Fridays um, I spend time with my family and like I said usually I'm teaching swimming so Family time. Saturday morning or family time till about afternoon. And then I go off by myself if I can. A lot of time my daughter won't allow me to. And I try and spend Saturdays mostly doing what I love doing, which is being back here or napping or cooking, whatever I want to do. I found that this is super 
duper important for me, um, for my sanity. It's definitely something that's come with time. Now, orange represents errands and having to go somewhere. Um, my husband and I usually do that if we're not going to church or taking care of my grandmother. Use that during that time. And then Allie comes back. She's been having tennis practice on Sundays. And I actually like it because I can go with her. I enjoy watching my daughter play tennis because she is a fierce tennis player, you guys. Fierce. I'm telling you, she can hit that ball and it looks like it hurts you if it hits you. Okay. And then in the mornings, my husband and I take care of a lot. Yes, my husband and I wake up early. And then on Sunday evenings, we're really prepping for like the next day, getting clothes ready, all that stuff. Um, also on Saturdays, I'll take time to clean as well, but it's not usually a thing. I'll do little bits of cleaning here and there throughout the week and then really clean either on Sunday or parts on Saturday. So that's what all this is. So for these little guys, I love the long air. That's fun. Um, let's use... Now that I've got so many of these little guys, I can use more of these. Oh, these are longer. Oh, no. Let's use this. Just see what it does. Playing with stickers. It's okay if that goes, because usually I'm doing house stuff by the time I get back. Let me know if y'all still with me. Hi, everybody. Hello, darling. Welcome. Yes, I still use those two page per day pages, and I use it for notes and journaling, too. I will do some videos soon, so don't worry. You may check my Instagram planning with me. Perfect. I can't wait, you guys. Um, I am all for supporting you all as well, because you have supported me so much. So much. It's insane. Um, I couldn't, I don't know. I'm, I'm very, very lucky and fortunate to have so many subscribers. Like, it's surprising. Um, I do have an announcement, though. You guys, I am actually moving my videos to a new platform soon. Um, I have two different platforms, and I'll keep you updated on that. I'll probably still do YouTube some. But, um, I'll let you know. Sorry. Uh, my nails. I'm not used to my nails, you guys. <laughs> this is a shade of pink, right? I'm trying to use the ones I already have. Oh, it's so crooked. It's the only thing about stickers, like I feel like they have to be absolutely perfect or it'll drive me insane. Anybody else like that? This one's not perfect, but I give up. Oh, this is a light pink. Okay. starting to thunder you guys my husband's snoring do you guys hear my husband snoring he snores so loud poor poor fellow poor little dude i feel bad for my hubby sometimes because he just snores and snores and snores so loud that i kick him out sometimes because i can't sleep real life real life <laughs> a little longer than I wanted, but it's okay. It all blends in. Oh my gosh, what if I got put, she doesn't do, I already asked. Um, I would love if someone had skills of making stickers, functional stickers like this. I would like to request long thin stickers to go like this for scheduling and stuff. That'd be awesome. I don't think I've seen anybody with that. I like the way that looks. What do you guys think? 
All right, let's get, okay. One of the things I wanted to show y'all is what I carry in my pouch. I carry bits and pieces of stickers, this in this pocket. Um, now that I've got bigger sets, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll probably cut them down um, or store them otherwise. But let me go ahead and show you real quick what I carry in here because I need something out of here. Commercial break. <clears throat> I do carry an MK, um, I think it's like a clutch bag. It's, it, you can use it as a wallet. It has card holders inside. Um, I love the brown color, but it's kind of messy. Um, this is what I need. I carry my paper mate. I carry a couple of highlighters, Colettos, Sharpie pen, and my Stadler because like I've mentioned before, these are my go-to black pens right here. These guys. I do carry different black pens. <laughs> no, it's kind of redundant, but whatever. It's it's the way they write. Planner girls know. And then I carry a brown and gray highlighter. I'm really into the neutrals, you guys. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and purchase a whole box of gray highlighters. It'd be awesome if they came out with a neutrals set, don't you think? Like skin tone set. Oh, it'd be awesome with like the peachy colors and then the tans and the browns and like grays and oh, it'd be so awesome. Um, and I carry these two Colettos. This is my more um, professional colors like black, blue, and red. And then this is my color code if I wanted to, if I needed to use it on the go, which most of the time I do. Um, okay, let me go ahead and just tell you about this. Okay, so I have some index cards, some dot grid index cards love those this is actually not a paper towel so i spilled coffee on my mia cara and it got on my po my beautiful post-it notes my peanuts planner code post-it notes and i wanted to save them and so i wrapped paper towel in between each sheet yes they are coffee stained i am aware of that but they are dry and they will work now so i don't want to buy any more <laughs> ta-da now i've got a fancy new coffee stained marbled set of post-it notes booyah <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna i mean it's a look right it's a look people stain their paper all the time right okay anyway i'm going to show you my next thing i have my daily devotional my upper room devotional and i have more post-it notes that are uh, go with my theme, if you will. This does not really, but I like using the page flags. I may actually put these back in their spot. I, I just switch them out here and there, you guys. This one still goes. Um, let's see what else. I do have a set of stickers, like I mentioned. I'm using what I have. A lot of this are just like boxes. I love a good quarter box, half box. I have some washi tape on a card I made. See, I just have, a look, look what colors they are. They're all neutral. Neutral tones, neutral tones. And then I have some, um, yeah, there you go. So there's that. And then in here, in these little pockets for cards, I have post-its and page flat. Uh, what do you call them? Tabs. Tabs. All right. I'm sure that was very informative. Moving on. Okay, so I needed this pen. Oh my gosh, it's pouring down rain, you guys. Or is that hail? Okay, you're going to have a nice sound of jazz and rain in the background. I have a question for you guys. Does anyone else have horrible handwriting like I do? I have to try really hard not to, like, do bad. It's, it's crazy.
There you go. What do y'all think? Does that look good? Alright. Alright, so I'll add my bills later. Oh no, let's go ahead and add them so you can get the whole like glorified effect of the stickers. I think it looks nice. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm shaking you guys so much. I, I really do apologize for that. Um, I need a better situation, I think. Okay. TJ Max, I need to really put it. Alright, there I have my credits, cards, I mean my payments. Ta-da! Okay, so now that that's done, let's get started on the most sought after insert on Instagram. Just kidding, but it's really great. Okay, so you guys... Let me see if y'all are still with me. I hope I'm not boring too many. Sound off if you're still with me. Because I've been talking and not looking. Okay. Alright, so my next part are these this routine all my routines insert now this is more of a yearly thing i've realized now we discussed on the last live whether or not to separate and categorize these so for example i would have categories home alley work and question mark weekend because my daily routine on the weekend is very different than a week day or should I categorize them by season fall spring you know summer winter although I know that's not in the order sorry but yes should it be by season because my schedule changes so much seasonally or as I mentioned should it be by personal category what do you guys think um, and as I get your answers for that, hopefully, I can't tell if you're with me or not, I think so. Um, let me show you what each um, piece of this insert looks like. So, ultimately, it's made to go like this, where you can see both, can you guys see okay, both sides evenly, um, so you can just kind of look back and forth if i decide to do this seasonally and break it up into categories then i most definitely will do it this way versus um having one like this so on this side you have a weekly schedule and routines again now like i said it's a seasonal thing versus this being a monthly thing okay and then you got these two boxes here that i was playing around with i really think i'm going to break it up into a zone cleaning checklist so we'll have week a week b all right and then i'll break it up into the weeks and so i'll have at least an outline of what i need to accomplish each week um because i do a form of zone cleaning in a way and then down here i thought about doing a checklist for my monthly cleaning or just tasks in general 
okay? Because I do have a cleaning list. I have a little cleaning tab back here, see right here? Um, where it's just a checklist of major cleaning items or, or tasks that you need to do. It's like a whole, it's like all your major cleaning that you can just date when you did it and check it off. And um, if so that's when I'm going to have to decide Oh, if I'm going to rearrange my planner layout a little bit, like uh, moving some inserts around, like having my cleaning with this, or where would I have this? Would this be in my calendar section or my planning section? You know, I kind of have gotten to where I like having all my planning in the front of whatever weekly dailies I have. So it's all right here and I could just go to it. Like this is December. Most of this, I think all this is December. Yeah. Yeah. It's not even completed yet. I don't have all of December in here, I don't think. No. I need the other months of December in here. Yeah. I, have the, I mean, other week. I have like a week out. Um, so that's where it gets a little questionable, but let's go ahead and fill out. Oops, I just threw my... Um, let's go ahead and fill out... Um, let's at least let me at least show you what I do with these guys now I do have a AM and P PM routine that I like to follow for my mental health and I do have another tracking for that which is this guy this weekly I'm not changing this. I like to have that checklist, but this will at least tell me everything that is included in those routines um, in more detail. Now, the daily routine by, by time, I think, I'll, well, obviously I'm gonna color code. I didn't know what to really do with that because I work, have a timed routine every day. So it's kind of different for me. But let's see what we can do with this. And I'm sorry again for shaking you guys so damn much. Okay. Here we go. Let's use some more arrows. Let's use dark blue this time. Like I mentioned, work takes up a lot of my time in a day. Down the middle, yeah, down the middle. Sorry if my head gets long, excuse my big leg. There you go. As you know, blue, um, if you followed, you know the blue is my work um, color. So I don't normally get out until, honestly, three. So let's go ahead and put this one here. Y'all, it's gotten so dark. It's weird. So early in the day. I think there's like a hurricane or tornado watch my husband told me right near nearby us so yeah all right and then here i'll run errands since i don't work at the pool every single day during the winter time I don't think I'll put that in there unless I want to, but usually this is like getting alley going or running around doing errands or whatever it's going to be. I'm going to use green because that's like everything have to do with home. So it is family based, although pink is family based. Um, usually around this time, I'm trying to take care of everything, so... Let's just 
do it here. Slide it down. There you go. And then what I'll do is get these little guys. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me see if I have any more of those in here. I took them all out. These one of these, yeah. Oh. Kind of pink. Is it too big? It's a little big for what I want. You guys doing all right, everybody? Y'all okay in there? Are you guys alive? Run around, babies. Dang it. I got these little guys, so I'm just going to use these. I can overlap. Let's overlap. That's always fun. Depends on the day, why not? There we go. I'm gonna overlap a little bit, everyone. I hope everybody's okay. Let's see. Seasonal. Okay, I'm just now getting y'all stuff. Yes, I hate my handwriting. Oh, I'm so sorry. I will do some videos soon. Oh my God. Okay, I'm sorry. I keep missing y'all stuff. Yes, I hate my handwriting. Me too. Mine, not yours. Um, planning your first week in December 85. I should do it seasonal. Okay, so I'm going to do it seasonal. That's what I'm kind of doing right now. Do it on this side. There we go. A little overlapping never hurts anyone. Mm, get this purple because it represents me. <laughs> I always wake up around this time of the day. These fit nicely in my summer's touch inserts. I'll tell you that. That's whose inserts I'm using, of course. Y'all, most of you know that. I use only her stuff now. Not saying I don't like other inserts. I've mentioned this a billion times. I really love my Marcia Brewing Cheese inserts so much. They're really nice. There we go. Y'all, this looks good. I like the way it looks with stickers. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. 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 I'm silly. Have y'all realized that yet? <laughs> And if I'm still awake, which is not often this late, I'm having some me time. There we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to go ahead and write out AM, PM routine, just like this guy. But neater. This was a practice one, so. Now, let's see if these may fit here. Let's see here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's just start from the top. Although I may need room. I didn't think about that to write everything, but we'll see. What do you think of that? That looks so good. I'm going to have to, these are some of the ones I was interested in buying. Um, after I saw the print, uh, freebie she gave me, I went back to look for these. And I found them and I put them in my cart, but I'm not going to buy them yet. And I think she's on break anyway. All right, I'm going to write in my friction pen, believe it or not. That way I can actually erase it if I need to. I don't know if I'll have enough room to do it this way. We'll see. I 
I've had some kids at my school tell me I write like a serial killer. And I was like, thanks, guys. I guess not. It's like, I guess you guys don't want to make me mad then, huh? Devotion. YouTube. What a. Okay. YouTube in the morning doesn't happen often anymore but I like to check y'all's comments and stuff and I watch a little bit but not normally I should take that out I don't want that in my morning anymore I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna erase it I think I'm gonna take out YouTube out of my morning routine because I need to start being a little more productive and once I start, sometimes it depends on what YouTube thing I watch. Like if it's something motivational, then I can do it. I like to review my daily plans. I try, I said try, to set up my daily plan in the evening time. Um. Wake my daughter. I do. I'm actually. I may highlight certain things that only happen during the weekday workday, um, because some of this doesn't happen on the weekends. If that makes sense. I may highlight things that. Um, I'll put a key up here with a high. Um, explaining what that is for. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. My cats all insist on using the bathroom or acting foolish when I'm filming. It's so funny. And I do like to do a light tidy. Just right tidy. So that's my AM right there. Let's do my next one. You stinker. You gotta be all in the litter box right now. Jeez, cats. All right, so my afternoon um, planning is actually pretty intense. I do a lot, I keep up with my tracking during the afternoon. I respond to comments. Um, I do my thought of the day and I list um, chores and errands for the evening time. This is something I keep up with during the day. Um, most of the time now, if I'm on break, it's a lot different. So. Ah, okay. Sorry, guy. That was not me. That was my cat. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, la -da 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 -da, singing over his bathroom muse. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Let's do some planning. Oh my gosh. You're being so rude, kitty cat. Oh, my life. <laughs> Do you guys hear that? Do any of you hear what's going on right now? Because, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Uh, tracking. Tracking and then comments. If I don't respond to comments, it's usually because I'm very busy and don't get a chance to. Thought of the day. I have to speak up so you don't hear my cat. Thought of the day. Put a period there. Um, okay, and then list chores and errands. And errands. Oh god, he left such a sticky situation. Ah! 
Now, see, I don't think all this is gonna fit on here for me because look how much this is. This is all my planning routine, and it's just a routine, daily routine by list. By list. Okay, next one. If I used one that didn't take up so much space, I feel like it would work better, but whatever. Golly, my cat reeks. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I'm so glad y'all can't smell this. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Kids have no filter. Still here. Ugh, can y'all hear that? Oh, it smells. You guys, you're so lucky. You can't smell anything. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm not even kidding. Oh, God. I need to move their litter boxes away from me. Golly, what did he eat? Ugh. Okay. We're, I'm going to cut down some of these things by just saying get settled in because I have a list of stuff of, I do when I get settled in and I think I can just make a list in my list section that says settled in routine and it'll break it down because I don't have enough room for all this. Get settled. Okay. Check mail. That's important. Messages. I like to do a light tidy. Like I said, I try, I've been trying to train myself to tidy every day a little bit, at least make my bed. Does it go as planned? Not always. Plan dinner. I usually plan dinner during the day and then or like the day before and then get it all prepped and then i want to film work in office space chores okay so chores that's light tidy and then um personal time if you will i need to have some an hour of personal time somewhere all right, okay, so I cut that down a bit. So my night routine, let's use the next flag. Look, man, I've had to learn to use my freebies because I do tend to hang on to things that are cute or that I really like using and I'll hang on and hang on until I absolutely need it, then I never use it. So I'm going ahead and knocking these freebies out today. I am gonna buy some more of these. I do like them. What do you guys think? I feel like it tidies up my my whole insert i like the way it looks okay ak routine is my main obstacle not obstacle but life one which is like bath and stuff i'll have a i need to make a list of her routine in the back you know i need to write this shit down when i'm thinking about it okay Hence the planner, right, guys? <laughs> um, and then I need my bath, of course. I gotta get used to taking my bath at night again. And then pack my work bag. Bag. And then plan next. Hey. All right, ta-da! Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and label everything with my Sharpie. Yeah, my cat's up. Hey, babe. Yeah, I'm live. Did you smell that? No, but I'm gonna feed them. <laughs> God, please do. <laughs> My husband can't smell it, but I'm like dying over here. Okay, so this is...
morning. Early after. I like the name. Early after. Late after. Noon. I know it's so dark. That's what I was telling them. You can't even see outside and it's only four. <laughs> it's been thundering a little and raining really, really, really little. I, I told them. Evening. There you go. What do you guys think? I personally love that. So what I was mentioning about highlighting, I think I'm going to, yeah, don't want to do gray. Yeah, keep it neutral, cat. Keep it neutral. You always regret it later when you do a color. Okay. So I'm going to write, I'm going to highlight a spot up here and put work day. So what that means is I will highlight the things that I only do on a work day. I actually do this every day. I usually only light tidy on a work day. In the evenings, in the mornings, I do. On the weekend. And then Allie's routine changes, but it's still pretty much the same. Okay, so that's what I meant by highlighting. Can you guys see it? Looks good. What do you all think about that? What do you think about them apples? Oh, thanks, Teresa. I'm sorry. I'm just now getting getting these. I love your videos. You're so inspiring. You're so sweet. Valerie, crack it up at my cat. So. <clears throat> okay, let's go on to the back. And then I'm going to end this video here because this is all the tracking I think that I'm doing. Um, I need to do the other seasons of these but i think what i'm going to do is do those off camera or as the season comes um this is as season is now now i'm gonna go ahead and just do one for front and back so let's go ahead and finish the back of this which is very similar to the one i've already done but let me show you the look but first i want to ask you guys something what do you think of the difference do you like it with the stickers or without the stickers? That represents home. I hate that I just did that. It looks crazy. But I'm sure I can fix it with a sticker. This is why I love stickers. Let's see. This is a bit bigger. These are a bit bigger. I have some really small ones too. Oh. Oh, yeah, that looks better. And then this is work. Like I said, I'm using samplers, so this one is work.
I guess the car. Oh, the apple, because I work at a school. Let's do that. There you go. Let's see what you guys said. So organized looking with the stickers is beautiful. So organized looking yet pretty at the same time. Hi from Alberta, Canada. Oh, Teresa, thanks for joining from Canada. That's amazing. Um, I just got my first Julia Media Mia car and I love it. I got it secondhand. Teresa, I'm so glad you got one. I love my Mia car as well. Um, I think I'm more of a companion girl, but yes, and I got my secondhand as well. And that's the way to buy Julia's personally, I think. Um, might as well give a beautiful Jillio a good home. <laughs> um, yeah, I love, I like it with the stickers. I think I love it a lot. Okay, let's do the back. Now, this should be fun. Let's do some more stickering. Now, this is like I, you guys saw, I did it here. This is more my personal, this is like what goes down. So, this would be for the whole season. So this would move with me. This would stay here. So I guess, yeah, let's go ahead and do the same thing again. Now, since this is for the year, I'm going to add my swim lessons in here. Yeah. I usually swim until about six. And then from four to five. Ooh, I went too far. Crap. My hand slipped. Crap. Oh well. And then whatever goes down on Saturday. I love this color. This is one of the newer Mad Liners. Um, it's a very dark purple, which of course is my favorite color. So Yes. Uh -huh. And then let's see. We got this turquoise color too. That's really pretty. Are you guys blurry? It looks like you're blurry. I don't know. This turquoise green I love so much. So pretty. It's very bright. To me, it's kind of weird for a highlighter though. really just kind of played around and there's a bright pink too that I'm gonna pass a lot I think so now it goes into about six here family time here family time here family time I'm getting sloppy you guys that's how you know I'm getting tired <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the bright pink because I need to put family time here. Okay, and then orange for errands. We got a bright one for that as well. This is the new mild line, the newest mild liners I've gotten are these very bright colors. All right. So, here we go. We need an arrow for blue. See, I'm running out of my blue arrows already. 
Periwinkle, one of my favorite colors. Ooh, I need some more tea. Why is hurting? One of the things that you guys will learn if you actually do um, YouTube videos and things like that, which I highly suggest people to at least try them. Totally worth it. I'm telling you, totally worth it. At least try. Um, you'll build some confidence. You'll get torn down a little. But honestly, it's worth it um, to at least try. Um, purple. <clears throat> um, but what I was trying to say is that your throat will get so dry if you're not prepared. So I have water here and tea and stuff. Because, ooh. And then I'm going to put a what, bud? Blue dot to represent some lessons. People ask me where I find the time to do all this and I'm like I just do like if you like planning you will find the time for it um you'll make time for it all right blue dots for swim lessons I wish I didn't put that one there but it's, it's okay I think I can pull it up actually let's try and pull it up are you serious right now thank you that's what I thought not not the sticker, the cat. The cat was starting to use the bathroom again. I just I'm just not having it. I'm just not having it, no. Okay. Let me move this dot a little more center. A little more. These are my older dots. There we go. And then we'll use green dots for my home stuff. Just to make it look a little better than Trying to shove a whole stick. Never mind, let me stop there. Okay. There, and then a pink dot there. Purple is my favorite too. It looks great. Planning helps me with my depression. Yes, can we talk about that? Are you guys okay with that? Um, I'll put a I'll have to put a warning or disclaimer up when we talk about this, but um yeah, honestly, planning helps with my depression too and my anxiety and mental state in general. It's just, um, it's something that saved my life, to be honest. I was in a very bad place mentally and physically um, for a very long time. Um, you guys, a lot of you know, if you follow me, I had a drug addiction. Had. Don't. It's been... I haven't in a very long time now used or anything, but um, it was all prescribed. Like um, That doesn't make it any better or easier. But planning was the first thing I picked up um, when I got clean. And it was the best thing that I could have done for myself. Um, and it all started with a Kiki K. <laughs> so, and I actually still have that planner. I showed, it has holds those Franklin Covey inserts um, because that particular planner and those particular inserts were what began my journey of stability or the attempt of stability. So I just thought that I'm here for you ever need to chat. Green planning has saved me as well. It's creative and productive and life good for you, girl. See, you're so inspiring. Oh, sweetie, thank you. You guys inspire me. I mean, I can't express enough how much these 
videos that I've been making and your comments have changed my life for the better. Um, sometimes I get nasty comments, yes, but I always have such positive people in, in um, surrounding my videos. I'm very surprised that I have such a good crew of people that support, ugh, care, and love me. And, um, I'm here for you guys, too. I know we don't know each other well, but, you know, I am here for you, um, as best as I can be. And, um, if I need to make videos about my mental health journey to help somebody else, you best believe I'm gonna do it. Um, I actually do have one coming up. That's going to be an update of my life and how things have been going. Um, what do y'all think of this? I like how this is turning out. Um, because I personally wish that, I think if I um, had a, I don't know. if I just feel like I would relate to myself if I met someone online or watched someone that went through such similar things and has such a journey difficult journey it'll make things a little easier a little more relatable not as scary to be going through by yourself you know but um I definitely have had such support from you guys and from my family too um I was very open and honest with my family when I finally came to and realize I had an issue and as soon as I admitted it to myself I told them and were they happy no not at all but I'm lucky to have supportive husband and um mom dad you know that understand and I was very upset and sad and I was going through a lot emotionally and it was just a lot and I didn't realize I had internal issues from a lot of trauma in the past because I had buried it down so much um, and I mean my personality split and I um, actually got that kind of together and then starting to realize I have more um, internal issues that I just got to deal with and it's all good you guys like I'm not I do have depression, it's going to happen, but I'm not letting it get to me as badly as it used to. Like, I have it a lot less, and I also, when I do, it lasts, it can last up to weeks, but honestly, I come out of it, and I know that I will come out of it because of being open with you guys and my family, it's been helpful. Now, if you don't have a supportive family, you may want to seek perfect or a group maybe like I haven't gotten into a group yet because where I live drug addiction is so heavy and it's really you can get help but it's not like emotionally supportive help um, and I want it to be natural and more emotionally on an emotional level because people that become addicts usually have some sort of chemical imbalance or extreme depression or something so it's just it needs to happen think there should be more support groups and things like that and the planning community has been such a great support group for me and um, I don't ever want to put my problems on anyone else but I feel if I talk about them that people that need to hear it will take it in and then people that are unfamiliar with mental health and drug addiction and things can be a little more knowledge be learn something and then knowledgeable is the word I was going to use and I realized it wasn't correct but at least I can learn a little bit more and maybe not look at people that have severe try and understand someone with severe depression drug addiction anxiety all that because we all are people and we're human and a lot of the times it's a conditioned to a chemical imbalance in your brain and it's not something that is like we wanted it to happen but it just does and um i don't know i think people that go through these things are so incredibly strong and they don't even realize it you've got to be incredibly strong to go through what 
you go through daily. I mean, golly, to make it out of a depressional state is like really, really difficult. And if you can do it naturally and like just fight through it, that's strength right there. Um, let's see what y'all said. I'm here for you. Fearless with. I agree. Trying to do things naturally is the best. If you can handle that, you have helped me so much. Wish I could explain how. Just please keep these moves you do. Oh, thanks, sweetie. Um, Teresa, that's amazing. Thank you. That means a lot to me to hear from you guys, from you, you know, and that goes for all of you that this subject may make you uncomfortable. Um, it's okay. Like I am fine. I am happy. I'm good. My life is really, really amazing. Um, I just don't know how to appreciate it. Sometimes <laughs> my brain doesn't want to, um, when things go really, really good, I was, I was so used to having it taken away early on that like I've been conditioned that when things go well I get depressed because I don't know I'm I know it's gonna go away but I'm learning how to handle that so and I hope you guys um if you do go through similar things or have a lot of depression to get help um to seek someone that can talk to you about it and give you professional help um moving on okay so I love how this turned out so cute. And then, like I said, I was gonna use this as zone cleaning. I'll figure out how to like pair my cleaning list to this. I don't really know. I may come in with an updated video later. Um, I need to play around with this. This is why I start setting up for 2020 early on. So I can figure out what I'm doing and why. So this is gonna be week A, week B. <clears throat> all right so that means that when i i need to go ahead and break down my zones and um things like that and then put them in here and decide how i want to separate them i don't have an updated zoning um a zone cleaning for myself uh in this planner right now um i used to do it but i'm going to go back to zoning different spots because because I found if I do a light tidy every day with the dishes in the bed and picking up clothes and stuff it won't be as bad and so that way if I do a little bit of cleaning every day it doesn't get as overwhelming and I don't get as much anxiety because if my house is not tidy and straight I literally go crazy my poor husband um I mean, my daughter's not that neat and my husband's not either. And so I'm constantly fighting with neatness and where to place things. And it's just, it's hard um, when you have so many other people's things to try and keep tidy. Um, it can be overwhelming. So my daughter is learning. Her room has been the cleanest. It's stayed the cleanest the longest it's ever been. And she's happy and she's starting to put things away on her own. I'm very pleased. I need to show you. I think I said I did a picture on Instagram of her like little shelf and stuff. So, but anyway, um, okay. Monthly, yearly routines. Okay, things like baseboards need to be done every single month, and that's something I struggle with making sure I do. But I'm adding it because yes, baseboards. Okay, sorry, that's real, I hate that I, ugh, eh, why didn't I use my friction pen? Cat. This is why I use a friction pen on stuff like this. So when I mess up and squish it all together, I can change it. Baseboards, windows, yeah. Uh, things like wiping down wall. I know that sounds crazy, but I've got to. It's, it's, it's nuts walls and ceilings in certain spots like my bathroom <laughs> my daughter like squirts stuff and it all gets on the ceiling and we have very tall ceilings in a lot of parts of our house so we got to have like a tall ladder it is an ordeal okay fans yep gotta take care of all them fans too i see one i missed light fixtures 
we'll just put lights, okay? Um, I need to month, month, I need to month, I need to mop like once a week. So that's not a monthly thing. That's something I really should be doing once a week. I need to have like a weekly checklist too. Um, which I do have one and it's for my routine. So maybe we'll switch it over for something else. Who knows? We'll see. Um, let's see. Also, declutter. I know it sounds crazy, but if I stick with my decluttering that I've been doing, I should be good. If I can declutter one room or a cabinet or whatever once a month, I should be fine. Like, seriously. So I'm going to leave that there. And ta-da! I think I finished. Let's see. I agree. Trying to do things naturally with you. It's work. Hey, my love! Did you like your package, Inky? I hope you did. If something got messed up, you can send it back. Or oh, I'll make you a new one. I'll make you a new one for whatever. Um, but yes. Okay, so there we have it. I've got this set up for, these, for this winter. Um... Let me go ahead and fill out the stuff. <laughs> okay, there you have it. Alright. So, and then this is, uh, this is December, so I'll start this tomorrow. This is like the sleep. It'll end up looking like this in the end. So, I have been keeping it clipped with this dangle that I made. down here there we go so I can get to it quickly so all right guys ladies gentlemen planner friends lovely people thank you so much for watching but this I want to show you this I haven't I messed up so bad doing this in color I wish I kept it gray but anyway, this is going to be this upcoming week. Um, I got a lot. I need to fill this in still. I got a lot going on. But this video has been long enough. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Um, it means a lot to me to have your support and to have your interaction in my videos. Oh, Ingi, I'm so glad. Sorry, I got y'all so close. Ah, there. Got you out a little bit. Um, yeah, thank you so much. And, um, you guys, I have a couple of giveaways coming up. I want to tell you, when my channel reaches 2,000, I'm giving away a, a very special tool, um, planner tool, if you will, or crafting tool. And my birthday is coming up soon in December, December 29th, so I'll be doing a birthday giveaway um one for the united states and one for international so um keep an eye out on that and i love you so so much and until next time <laughs> i hate this new stand <clears throat> until next time bye, -bye.